uh, discerning about what you're eating and drinking and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised tomorrow yeah. Yeah. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised because you'll enjoy it more and you won't have to drink as much yeah and always yeah. have that at the back of your mind um, about the sleep because yeah. you know it, it does it disrupts sleep because your unconscious doesn't do it to to give you a miserable time your unconscious wakes you up because you're dehydrated your unconscious yeah. wakes you up because you need the toilet and you don't want to pee the bed you know your yeah. unconscious wakes you up for a reason in the night yeah. if you've had too much to drink and so yeah. we get to a point where there's so many times we might have had that experience where we say oh no not again never again never again but you've actually got to that stage where you know what it's like not to overdo it and that's preferable yeah. well i think if i mean i'll put it in the trance if you like but i think if you have that in the back of your mind what you actually want from having a drink mm -hmm. that you want to feel merry do you want oh, i think that's brilliant your unconscious has given you a talisman so that you know when you're asleep and when you're awake and it's a bottle of water Proper weird man, <laughs> seriously. But it's, it's just one of the most, most weird experiences I've ever had. Seriously, it is. You've had but them before, like but you haven't been conscious of them. It's all very quantum. This is all um, all becoming kind of normal now to science. Quantum leaping, I call it. And what you can also do, you can leap into your best possible future. You can leap. You know. Talk about this, yes. Yeah, go on. Go. Yeah, past, present, future. Yeah, yeah. So the, the future self wants to know about you know the present to say yeah. that you know thank you for making me what what I am right now kind yeah. of thing. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, and I think you are time traveling in the sleep state. Yeah. Well, I don't know what it is, but um, I'm, I'm getting some 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 weirdness, but I like it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm embracing it. I like it. You know what I mean? It's one of them ones. It's Love great. It. You're ready for it now. You know, and, and that's why we've got these films out. That's why we've got films like Inception and, um, oh, there's been loads since where, and, and even, um, it's all a bit, um, it's the latest blockbuster film, T-E-N-E-T, -E -T, Tenet. That's all about time travelling as well and um, about the army and it's all much more acceptable than it used to be that in some way we travel into the past and into the future and then in the present moment we can kind of choose which path to go on it's almost like if I go that way from this moment in time you've got several options some people say they're at a crossroads but actually it's more like a fork in the road. There's a part of you that can continue along the path that you're on. And if that's the best possible path for you, that's brilliant. But if somebody's having a real problem like you were a while ago, you got that fork in the road and you could have gone either way because you've got free will. So you could have said, oh, this uh, stuff is ridiculous, I'm not going to get into that, but you're far more mentally astute than many so those people that say oh hypnosis that's hocus pocus I don't want anything to do with that they're either scared or they don't have the mental capacity to think oh well you know give it a go and you, you, you will, you've put yourself on, a, on a, an improved path but in actual fact there's hundreds of paths from this point on one of them is your best possible future and the old path still exists, which is why sometimes you have to keep yourself in check. Because when you get the desire or the thought to go back to the old path, that's your unconscious mind saying all the time, you, you constantly choose, you see. So your, your mind could say, well, I need something at the moment, or I'm not happy, um, but that's your body and your mind calling for you to care for it, for self-care. Okay, I'm feel out of sorts. I don't like where I am. What am I going to do? What am I going to? Oh, I wonder if going back to drinking would do good for me. 
I wonder. So you're going to have those thoughts and then you're going to choose in that moment a better feeling thought, if you like, like the juice or whatever. But know that everybody has these and they're not usually aware. So some people do frantic dusting, some people take drugs, some people are addicted to sex, some people just want to sleep. Um, so everybody does something and the thing to do as you're doing is to choose something to experiment with that's far more useful than the old behaviour ever could be. Yeah. Wow. So you I mean, are I reckon... enjoying life now. Yeah. You're enjoying yeah, it. That's it. Control it. Like, come on, just it was just, just amazing. No. I...